We're at the Rock Elite Academy's elite group. We have a coach from Southampton visiting the island, putting our elite boys through our paces. A lot of these boys have come through our developmental program and they've shown talent, hard work, dedication, and a desire to learn more. So they've had a full week of training with Coach Ed from Southampton. They're having that Southampton Academy experience. So it's good to see the progression of some of our players as well, pushing themselves and hopefully they can learn one or two things from this experience this week. Hi, I'm Ed Kilby from Southampton Football Club. I am the Football Development Coordinator at Southampton in which I able to visit different partners around the world, supporting their player and coach development program. Up again, last couple and then we're getting to some games, okay? As you can see, we're here in Bermuda where I'm here supporting the Duroc Performance Academy. Um, in which we have players from different teams taking part in a, in a camp this week. So it's my role to come and sort of showcase what we do at Southampton's Academy and give them the exposure and experience of, of those sort of techniques and hopefully learn some things along the way. Yeah, clearly there's, there's fantastic opportunities for the players here to, to con continue playing and learning and enjoying their football. Obviously, I know Dunty and, and the work he does to support these players is, is absolutely fantastic. So there's clearly opportunity for the players to continue learning and, and developing their game. Um, from a technical point of view, it's good to see some of the individual qualities that some of the players possess. The challenge that's always uh, the case is how do you then apply those individual qualities into a game and, and make the right decisions. So it's been great to work with the players and sort of develop their understanding of the game. It's nice to see that they're curious learners. They ask lots of really fantastic questions, which has sort of aided their lot of learning and development. So hopefully over the course of the week, they've, they've taken one or two things and hopefully maybe more um, that they can then continue their sort of their sort of journey up through the Bermuda pathway and, and who knows what that looks like in the future for each player. Yeah, so the programme, as you can see, uh, the players are, the, the continue thriving and, and throwing everything they can into each practice. As I said, the energy that they've put in has allowed me to sort of challenge them in, in a particular ways and, and get them thinking um, about how we support our players back home with our, in, within the academy setup. So as I said, each day's had a particular theme. Um, we've utilised the classroom to sort of showcase some of the tactical elements of that. And then we've broken it down from a technical point of view and then apply that into some sort of game formats, including today where we'll play a sort of a bigger format, uh, which will allow them to sort of try some of those sort of tactical sort of systems of play um, and see if they can sort of use their technical qualities to make sure they find some form of success within those games. But as a whole, the, the camp's been a lot of fun for myself. Uh, good to meet all the players. Uh, obviously what's great is we've got players from different teams playing together. So again, seeing how they connect and sort of collaborate in a real positive way. So. The way I see it has been a positive experience for everyone, not just myself, but hopefully the players as well. Yeah, coach is a really good coach as well. He's opened my eyes a lot because when I go to England, I would like to like, of course, play at a really high standard and he just gives me tips on how I should operate myself. He says just keep my standards high, work on my fast touch, work on being aware. I use my shanks and minimize my weaknesses. He's a really good coach.